Mars is our goal. There are so many scientific questions we want to answer there. We might even find the first evidence of life beyond Earth. We've already proven we can send a rover to Mars. But now we need to learn how to send people. Astronauts like me. A human mission to Mars and back could take two and a half years. And we don't know for sure how people will hold up in weightlessness for that long. We need the people we send to Mars to be healthy enough to do work once they get there. And that's why the one-year mission of Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko on the International Space Station was so important. We started testing Scott and Misha a year before they launched and kept taking samples from them throughout on orbit to see how they reacted over time to being in weightlessness. Doctors check them out at the landing site right out of their Soyuz spaceship and they'll undergo additional tests for many more months on the ground. Then we've got to dig through all that data gathered to learn more. We're studying information about bone loss and muscle weakness and effects to their fine motor skills. We're studying the psychological effects of an extended space flight and how well they slept. We're looking to see if there was an impact to their vision. We're looking at everything to make sure the people we send to Mars will make the trip safely. On top of measuring the impacts of weightlessness to the human crew, we're using these International Space Station missions to learn about the hardware and technology we need for the trip. Things like how to refine our life support systems to make them more reliable, how to use robots to help humans do their work. We're even figuring out how to communicate effectively over these huge distances and how to make the human crew members more self-sufficient. The International Space Station is our test bed to work out the details of how to send people to these deep space destinations and bring them home safely. In the process, we're also promoting international cooperation and enabling commercial participation in space flight research, all while we generate benefits that are helpful to people on Earth today.